good. Hey, what is up guys, Whistle here, and in this video I'm actually going to tell you guys the truth about the space docker Omega, and I'm going to show you guys proof that there is so much more after the known end we have between Omega and Franklin right now. This might be a very long video, longer as usual, but I want to ask you guys to watch it until the very end. Just so you will understand everything I say and I promise you guys that the video is totally worth it and you will be mind blown at the end. I am making this video because 1. I want to let every single person know what's really going on and 2. No one really pointed this out yet in the forms of a video as far as I know and yeah someone has to be first. So here I am. First of all guys let's start at the beginning. Let's explain the truth about the space docker. If you didn't know it is this car. We have to collect 50 spaceship parts in order to unlock the space docker. But listen carefully, the spaceship parts weren't even needed to build the space docker. No, they were needed to unlock the space docker, not to build it. The spaceship parts have absolutely nothing to do with the space docker. The space docker is yeah, just something you receive from Omega as a gift for delivering him these 50 spaceship parts. So now I hear y'all ask, then why did we have to collect these 50 parts? Well guys, the answer to that is Omega. Let me explain this. If we have to believe Omega, he almost got abducted by aliens. We know this because of what Omega says the first time we meet him. Here, take a listen. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. So, aliens who we are controlling a UFO wanted to abduct Omega and do all kinds of experiments on him. And just when they wanted to do this, the UFO crashed. They freaking crashed. That's the story what Omega tells us. And he then tells us in this cutscene that he wants to find the pieces of the crashed spaceship to basically rebuild or repair the spaceship. So guys, he is clearly not talking about the space docker here. The spaceship parts aren't needed for the space docker. No, it is to repair and rebuild the spaceship where the aliens wanted to abduct Omega with. So to summarize this part, after we have collected the last spaceship part and brought it to Omega, he runs off, as you can see here. See you on the other side, brother. And he is actually heading to the UFO, so they crashed a spaceship to add the last piece, what we just brought him. And after that, he disappears in how he likes to call it the Proto Galaxy. And as a gift or a thank you for helping him with the process, we get or receive the Space Docker. So, the truth about the spaceship parts and the space docker is that the real ending is still out there. It wasn't about the space docker, it is the spaceship where the aliens wanted to abduct Omega with. That's what it's all about. And as always, I have a pretty interesting theory for this. Omega mentions that the spaceship of the aliens have crashed, right? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is only one crashed spaceship in the entire map and that's the one where it's laying on the sea bottom. This one. So, my guess is that this specific UFO is the UFO or spaceship where Omega is talking about. But then again, we have another side of the story, and this changes things a little bit. In the cutscene where you deliver the last piece to Omega, you hear Omega say, I have put together this ship to their exact specifications. I got every piece you sent me through except this one. 
And then, surprisingly, he walks up to a very small spaceship or UFO and says, isn't it incredible? So he is actually referring to the small mini UFO in this scene. Meaning, all 50 spaceship parts were meant for this small UFO slash device. But that doesn't make any sense, because one single piece is twice the size of this little mini UFO. And he needed all 50 parts to repair and both this UFO? Like, what the hell? So the only thing I can think of is that all these 50 parts were needed for power, because I can imagine it needs a lot of power to actually fly. So yeah, maybe all parts were only needed for the power of the small UFO. Who knows? So, I don't know, in the cutscene Omega is referring to the small UFO, but if you think about the story he tells you before, you wouldn't think it is about a big UFO what crashed, because he told us that they wanted to abduct him, and I'm pretty sure Omega and a bunch of aliens don't really fit inside that small UFO, unless they use magic, but that's not the case I think, so then you would say it is about the UFO what has crashed in the ocean. As I said, two sides to the story, but which one is true? That's what we need to find out, but guys, keep watching. I will answer most of the questions later on in the video. So, I think I've provided enough proof now in this video to say that the spaceship parts weren't actually needed for the space docker, what a lot of people thought, of course. It is, yeah, just, I would say, a gift from Omega to thank you for helping him to collect all 50 spaceship parts uh, he needed. Okay, now, moving on. Believe it or not, now comes the interesting part. We have more to talk about and this is regarding a secret alternative ending to the Omega mission. And of course, I provide proof. Hear me out. So, we all know the ending where we deliver the last spaceship part, get the space docker and... That's it, the ending we know of so far, right? But who says this is the ending? I mean, Omega leaves on the most random moment ever. He isn't even done with explaining everything and he leaves already. But the thing is, we cannot follow him because when we try to follow him, he is already gone. Just gone. He completely disappears. And this is also the very last moment we see Omega in the game. After this specific moment, he was never seen again. So just all of the things summed up don't make any sense. Why would he disappear when he finally got what he was asking for, the spaceship parts? I think I got the answer to that question. I got proof for you guys that the mission is not completed or over yet. There are a few dialogues and this actually got found a long time ago already, but anyways, dialogues from Omega what we haven't heard before. Basically dialogues from after the end we have right now, so after he leaves us with the space docker, after we delivered him these 50 spaceship parts and also after he says I see you on the other side brother. I will slowly scroll through all of the dialogues for you guys, so feel free to pause the video and yeah, just take a look at every text line. So the dialogues, we for example see stuff like, oh no, you are from area 53, aren't you? Like what the hell, area 53? Or this one, this is also a very interesting one, I knew you would come. And this is like the perfect sentence but would fit in a situation where you meet Omega again, so after he left us in that mission. Keep in mind guys, these sentences are things Omega literally says. So it isn't like he said something like it, no, it is literally what he says in the game and we haven't heard any of these before. These dialogues are basically missing and I'm 99% sure that these dialogues are from after he leaves us at the space docker, so that we meet him after that moment and then he says uh, the stuff what is on uh, screen right now. But let's move on. Here we have the end is near. Be free now. I have thought you all that I know. This sounds like the final ending where we completed the actual easter egg. And then in the following line Omega confirms that we, so both Omega and Franklin, are on a mission together. Because here he says, did I not stress the urgency of this mission? Pretty damn interesting. Also it seems that Franklin and Omega somewhere in their quest or mission actually meet aliens because there is a line what says 
they have come for me. I told them we would come in peace. And guys, here I have final proof that we meet Omega after he says the famous line, I see you on the other side, brother. Because here we have, I thought I said I would see you on the other side. That's literally what Omega says. Like, what the hell? Guys, this is just proof and this absolutely blows my mind. So it seems that we meet Omega again, obviously after we triggered a massive trigger and it seems that we have to team up with Omega to find something because in the found dialogues we have lines um, such as we'll be far more effective if we split up. So yeah, it seems we have to team up with him and that's very interesting if you ask me because we haven't done this before. We had to collect the spaceships on our own, not together with Omega. So now I think we all can draw our own conclusion to the information I gave you guys in this video. Every single person who made it all the way to this point in the video, please do me a small favor and post hashtag Omega crazy bitch. <coughs> I meant hashtag the truth. Post it in the comment section below and please share your personal theory on this whole story. I just, yeah, share it with you guys. Now, since I explained the truth to you guys about this whole um, process of Omega and the Space Doctor and all that, what's the process from here? What do we need to do now after knowing this? I personally think we need to use the Space Doctor because, yeah, think about it, Omega is on his way to complete his mission and do some crazy shit with a crashed UFO and aliens and spaceship parts and all that, but he leaves this kind of hangings with that crazy hippie slash alien car. So if you ask me, we need the space docker to make our next step. The car just needs to be a trigger for something in the game. And if there is a trigger, I am more than sure it has to do with the lights and the horn of the space docker. Simply because these two things are the only two things will stand out of the rest of the cars in the game. Both the horn and the lights is something we can control and uh, use the keys with. So yeah, that's just my guess, but it makes sense, right? Right? So guys, let me know what you think we need to do from this point in the game. Keep having faith, keep believing in the mystery guys, ignore the haters, ignore the bullshit other people try to tell you and just believe in the mystery. That's it for the video guys, it has been ages since I made a video like this, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. This video took me quite some time to make, so um, yeah, I don't want to ask for a like goal or anything, because I know 90% of you guys hate it when I do that, so I'm just going to ask you to leave a like. If every single person would do that, then we would break a record on my channel and you would definitely make my day even weak. Also, if you want, share the video around. If you think your friend or anyone else needs to see this video because you or your friend always wondered if there is something more with Omega and that space docker car, well, this video explains it all, so feel free to share it around. And with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate every single person who made it this far into the video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want, of course, just so you keep updated with videos in the future. I'm out, guys. Bye.